I'm now pleased to present your graduate speaker for the class of 2024, Michael Dondero. Michael is graduating today from the MFA Computer Arts Program, where he specialized in stop-motion animation. Born and raised outside Philadelphia, Michael grew up with a love for reading and watching Looney Tunes cartoons and monster movies. This passion for storytelling led him to pursue bachelor's degrees in English, Spanish, and international studies at Penn State University. Following his graduation from college, Michael began a decade-long career in live-action film and television, during which time he received an Emmy Award for his documentary work with PBS. Michael has also worked behind the scenes on such shows as Ray Donovan, Mr. Robot, High Maintenance, and Law and & Order. When the COVID-19 pandemic shut down the film and television industry, Michael filled the time by reconnecting with animation and drawing. To feed his curiosity, he began taking continuing ed classes at SVA. This experience with, and I quote, SVA's dedicated faculty and creative culture inspired him to not only want to pursue his studies in animation at the graduate level, but to do so at School of Visual Arts. In the computer arts department, Michael set himself apart by focusing largely on stop motion animation. His thesis film, Nostril, about a woman who is sucked into her snoring husband's nose, interesting, employed fully, fully 3D printed puppets created by his thesis partner, fellow graduate Shen Nandong, bringing, bringing traditional uh, stop motion techniques with cutting edge technology. Following graduation, Michael plans to continue his freelance career in both live action and animation, while also directing his own projects. Celebrating with Michael today are his partner, Lauren Colbert, his mother, Marianne Dondero, and his father, Lawrence Dondero. Please join me in welcoming Michael Dondero. Thank you, Dr. Cyphers, for that introduction. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, President David Rhodes, Executive Vice President Anthony Rhodes, members of the Board of Directors, Mr. Gary Simmons, our distinguished speaker, department chairs, faculty, and staff of SVA, and of course, family and friends, both here in attendance and watching at home on the internet. First, on behalf of all the graduates here, I'd like to give you all a round of applause for all your support and your guidance and your trust in us over the course of our journey here at SVA. And now to my fellow graduates. Well, here we are, we finally made it to graduation day. It is absolutely an honor to be representing the graduate class of 2024 and to be delivering this address today. Even if at first the idea of uh, speaking in front of a crowd of this size in this venue did make me a little nervous, it did uh, make, make me a little uncomfortable, but I'm trying to embrace that discomfort and channel it because I think as artists, putting ourselves into potentially embarrassing situations into situations where we're out of our comfort zone, making ourselves vulnerable. I think this is all a necessary part of our growth. And I think even just calling yourself an artist can feel uncomfortable at first. The stand-up comedian Mike Birbiglia once said about comedy that to be a comedian, you have to be a little bit delusional because starting out, there's so much failure. And in the midst of that failure, you have to tell yourself, this is going quite nicely. And I believe it's the same for artists. And even when we take that step of calling ourselves artists, we're still plagued by insecurity, aren't we? Like, I constantly worry if my work's going to be met with laughter, and unintentional laughter, disapproval, or worse, apathy. And as I'm sure many of us do, I constantly ask myself, wait, what if I don't have it? Now, for a very long time, I was even afraid to call myself an artist. I think often about something that the novelist William S. Burroughs once wrote about himself. He wrote, 
I had given up on writing because I was afraid of all the bad writing that I had to do before I could do any good writing. Now, like him, I was afraid of all the bad art that I had to make before I could make any good art. And I didn't want to go through that uncomfortable period of being bad at something I loved. Now, I apologize if this is like bumming people out, talking about failure, embarrassment, discomfort, making bad art. I know this is supposed to be a celebratory day, uh, but I have a positive message coming. Uh, um, because all of us graduating today came from unique backgrounds that make us who we are. Now, maybe some of us had no formal training in the arts. Maybe some of us studied biology or marketing. For example, I studied languages. Some of us were teachers at a public school or maybe worked as a sales rep at Google. And some of us got here, opened After Effects or Maya for the first time and thought, like, what am I even looking at? Some of us were navigating an entirely new country, taking art classes in a language that wasn't our first in one of the most chaotic cities in the world. But all of us, all of us graduating today, were betting on ourselves. And all of us came here because we knew ourselves to be artists. And all of us were challenged every day to create something new and then put it out in, into the world to be graded and critiqued and reviewed and dissected and analyzed. All of us left our comfort zone and embraced discomfort. Like, that could be the discomfort of tackling a difficult topic with our art or the discomfort we might feel in creating without really knowing if it's gonna meet your expectations, or that discomfort that you might look a little silly or maybe fail. But all of us here today are receiving our diplomas because we acknowledge that discomfort and we push past any fear of failure, maybe made some bad art, but we said, this is going quite nicely. And by doing that, we put ourselves on a path to make art that is unapologetically our own. And we made good art, great art. Now, as we leave here today with our new diplomas, I hope we can maintain that same spirit of confidence and passion and fearlessness that made us take the step to come to SVA in the first place. And that we can continue to better on ourselves by creating work that is 100% true to who we are and what we want to make. And I hope we can be proud when that work meets our expectations. We should definitely be proud when it exceeds our expectations, but let's please be proud even when it doesn't meet our expectations because we took a risk. And let's remember to be grateful that we have the opportunity to take those risks and for our family and friends and everyone here at SBA that believed in us and continues to believe in us. Now, lastly, let's keep taking comfort in discomfort. Let's not be afraid to laugh at ourselves, look a little silly from time to time, to maybe make some bad art on occasion, embarrass ourselves, and then we can go right back and keep doing it because we're artists and we love making art. Thank you. Congratulations to all my classmates.